I wanted to go ahead and start off this vlog with a Trader Joe's haul. It's Friday night. I just got home from Trader Joe's. It's 9.15 and I got kava for dinner on my way home. I just last minute decided to go because it's Super Bowl weekend and I didn't want to try and go tomorrow because I always go on Saturdays and it's always crazy and I think the key is going. On a Friday night, it's so relaxing. Everything is stocked. I mean, as you can see, I have four bags. So I'm gonna put everything out and then do a quick haul to start off the vlog. Welcome back to another video. My name's Lauren, if you're new. Okay, so here's everything laid out. I'm gonna start over here. Sourdough, chunky guacamole, and then also this artichoke and jalapeno dip. I got some peppers and a cucumber to dip in those as well. This is my kava. I love this green goddess seasoning, so I got two of those. I love this for my sheet pan dinners where we do a bunch of vegetables. It's like the easiest way to get a bunch of veggies in with some like chicken sausage or Italian sausage, whatever you have. Put that on top and some other like garlic powder, salt pepper. So good. Got some more avocado oil spray. These are actually really, really good. Lentil and chickpea crisps. And I feel like the ingredients aren't terrible. Lentils, chickpeas, rice bran, oil, baking soda. The ingredients aren't terrible on these. Like there's not a ton of added stuff. Got some turmeric shots. I love these and they're such a great price at Trader Joe's. So I got a couple of them. Some different types of nuts. Got these honey roasted peanuts for Christian. These are new. I haven't seen these at Trader Joe's before. Dry roasted and salted. And it's literally just almonds and sea salt. Which is so hard to find. It's honestly just looked good and sound really good with i love like cheese and pickles like spicy pickles as a snack it's so good it's not a trader joe's haul without these christian wanted some snacks so i tried to get creative cheese and truffle flavored corn snacks i don't know if he's gonna love these so we'll see these are new pizza party potato chips Maybe we'll try those tomorrow. These blue corn tortilla chips. Got some chicken meatballs. Center cut fillets. These are amazing. Great price too. A bunch of rice cauliflower stir fry. This is my favorite stuff. Some soup dumplings. Fried rice. Orange chicken. Sorry, the lighting. Um, this barbecue teriyaki chicken, which I don't think we've tried. I kind of like these for those nights during the week where you're kind of like, I don't know what to cook, I don't know what to make, I want something easy. They're not healthy by any means, but they're always great to have in your freezer so you're not going out spending money on food. Cauliflower and gnocchi, turkey burgers, some brown rice just to make it easy. Brown rice takes so long to cook, so I just thought this would be nice for on hand for meal prep. Got this tomato and burrata ravioli. They have finally had these at Trader Joe's. And I'm shocked, so I got two. And the guy was telling me to always go to Trader Joe's between 7.30 and 9 p.m. during the week because they always get chucks in at night and they're stocking everything. And I haven't been able to find these for weeks, if not months, honestly, we haven't had them. So I saw them and I was like, okay, I need to grab two. But I think I'm gonna start going during the week or on Friday nights because um, I get out of work early to go to Trader Joe's because if everything's stocked and it's so much more calm and I feel like at ease, I'm not like rushing around, there's not a million people, it was just great. I think I'm gonna have to go on Friday nights. Got these um, chicken gyoza pot stickers. These are so good. And then, okay, so I got this last Trader Joe's trip, but I put it in the fridge and I thought it was a fridge item, not a freezer item and that was my bad so we never got to try it so i got it again to give it a try don't know if it's good i've heard good things that's the trader joe's haul i'm gonna put all of this away and then i'm going to eat shower go to bed all of my blonde dead hairs that are 
viewing from the top of my head because my sunroof is open. I just ran some errands. I went to Whole Foods to get some specific teas that for some reason Sprouts was out of. I think it's because they had like a sale going on. But I got some lemon balm tea, uh, dandelion root tea. This one I drink every night with um, peppermint tea. Peppermint is like good for digestion and lemon balm tea is also good for digestion, um, but it also calms the central nervous system. So I drink those before bed, but you can totally drink the lemon balm tea whenever. It doesn't make me sleepy, so I could drink it in the morning if I wanted to. And then this is good for, honestly, water retention. I drink this like every once in a while. It has an acquired taste. So that's what I went and got. I got some teas and then I went into Sprouts first and I got their chlorophyll drops. I've been drinking chlorophyll for so long. I really love it. I think it honestly promotes a lot of energy for me, helps with digestion, um, detoxing. It makes my skin like glow in a different way. I just, I love the way that chlorophyll makes me feel. I got that and then I went by my dad's house because tomorrow I'm making this oreo cheesecake thing for super bowl it's super bowl weekend i also am wearing red because valentine's day is next week so i feel really festive in my red sweatshirt but i got one to my dad's because i don't have a handheld mixer and he does so i'm borrowing his handheld mixer for they're honestly like not that expensive i could have gone to target and gotten one for like probably like 30 bucks i think but um i'm just borrowing it and then if in the future I use it again, I honestly have never even used a handheld mixer, but I'm making an Oreo cheesecake dessert thing and I'm really excited. My battery light is flashing at me, but I'm gonna go upstairs. Just wanted to update, just ran a couple errands and picked up some stuff, so yeah. Okay, I'm about to start my dessert for Super Bowl. We're going to a Super Bowl little get together later today and it's kind of like a potluck style. And I was tasked with dessert. So I didn't want to just bake cookies or do something just like generic or get cupcakes or whatever. So I'm doing a Oreo cookie cheesecake thing. So it's, I'll link the recipe down below if you're interested. So it's cookie on the bottom and then a layer of Oreo cookies and then the cheesecake on top. And I'm really excited. I've never 
kind of made something like this and I think it's gonna be really good. Christian hasn't had dessert since 2023 basically so he's like so excited he loves oreo cheesecake things like this so he's gonna finally break his no dessert streak with this so this isn't all the ingredients but i'm actually gonna put these back in until christian gets back with the parchment paper we don't have parchment paper so i'm waiting for him to get back from the grocery store he had to go anyway to grab a couple things so i'm gonna make the cheesecake the oven is preheating and it's supposed to be in the fridge for about three hours. So this leaves me enough time for it to be in the fridge for three hours before we leave for the Super Bowl. So I'm excited. I'll let you guys know how it is. It is much later. I was editing a YouTube video for the past couple of hours after I cooked the Oreo cheesecake. It's been in the fridge for the past three hours. I'm so excited to eat it. And we're just, we have it in the freezer really quick before we drive over just to kind of like harden it up a little bit more before we get over there. And then we'll probably stick it in the fridge once we get there. But I'm wearing kind of festive colors for the Chiefs. That's who we're rooting for. This top is from Princess Polly, and then I have the red bag, but. And then I'm wearing these leggings from Aerie. I really like them because they have the like V cut on them. I have kind of flare leggings from Lululemon, but I like these a little bit more because they have that V cut. They're super cute, especially if you wear like a crop top with it. But this is the fit, and then some little light gray-ish white Birkenstocks. Comfy little fit. And then my red back. <laughs> I look like McDonald's as well. But I'm gonna cut up the Oreo cheesecake bars and then we're gonna head out. Mm -hmm. 